Hello YouTube, welcome to iBeast Video Games tutorial on how to upload uh, HD backgrounds to YouTube. Uh, now this is kind of handy um, for the people that have been making backgrounds or make graphics and you know sometimes there's a bit of smudging on some text or your uh, profile picture display as it's known on YouTube uh, isn't as clear as it could be. So this all starts with Photoshop. So I'm just going to load it up and uh, show you the first things you can do. Mm -hmm. Let's give it a second, sorry. The full version takes a bit longer than the uh, portable. So at this, at this time you should have, I'm just going to open the template. Uh, this is a background that I've just made. Um, and this is what you want. You want your background that you've made or a background that you're going to upload. Uh, the first thing you're going to do, file, save as. And the first thing you'll need to do is uh, edit this drop down menu and change it to PNG. Uh, it's the fourth, no, fifth from the bottom, sorry. Um, and then just name it. If you can't find PNG, uh, then you can save it as a JPEG. Um, but then after, like, once this format is on JPEG, after the file name, after the last word, with no spaces, but dot .png. Um, but it's better that you save it as PNG, totally. Uh, that's the whole point of the tutorial. So you just save the background and choose none and just head over and click OK and then minimize Photoshop and then you'll need to go onto your uh, YouTube and click themes and colors new theme I'm going to name my example and just find the background that you've made uh, it's on my desktop sorry I'm a little Unprepared example. There it is. And as you can see, the uh, it'll just change a few of the settings here. Uh, text, link, color, white, black. This is something you'll need to do as well. Um, Obviously, for each individual background, uh, this will all be different. Like the settings that you'll need up here, but there you go. As you can see, it's uh, there's no smudging upon sorry upon the and uh, designed by the text, um, and it's pretty much uh, clean. Now I'm just going to show you that this does make a difference. So what I'm going to do, save the same background as a JPEG. Uh, I just wait for it to do that. The full sources as a JPEG are considerably higher as well. Um, so yeah, again, PNG is an advantage. Example.jpg. JPG, yeah, that's right, JPEG. Uh, and as you can see, the uh, text in the middle is smudged and it's got lines all over it and it looks horrible. Um, so, yeah, there's proof that it does make a difference. Same background. Um, so saving it as a PNG is pretty much it. Uh, if I just change back to the same thing and save. Um, another thing you might want to consider is a program called Format Factory. I'll just open this up. Close Photoshop. Um, this is a program that reduces file sizes uh, for all, uh, audio clips, videos, and pictures. It can also be used to convert convert things. So if you've got an image in a JPEG that you want to convert to a PNG, then you can do that. Um, I'll put a link in the description to this this program, uh, and all you have to do to use it 
is I'll say alter PNG and then that's for pictures you have to choose picture on the left uh, click add file and then if I just click on my desktop and find the file that I've just made uh, you click add file and then choose it and then just go ahead and click OK and then click start at the top in a matter of seconds and click output folder at the top and as you can see I've got mine here so if I just right click uh, the size is 33.4 after it's been reduced and let me just see if this is the PNG yeah uh, 36.2 so there's a, a not not three point I'm not sure not not three point something difference there which does make a difference when you're uploading to YouTube um, so if you need any help uh, with format factory on how to download it or anything or you need any help on the Photoshop side of things then go ahead and post a comment I hope this was helpful thank you for watching